see she don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hidden love Scanny ass bitch there yeah. Second game in the NBA. Yeah. Good, y'all already know it's good. It's your boy Kels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's your boy LV Scanny. And today we are here to check out five WWE secrets caught on camera inside the ring. All right, I, don't, I don't know what that actually means, caught on camera inside the ring, but I feel like it's talking about some shit like that we ain't supposed to know about, but they fucked up and showed us anyway. I feel like one of these shits, I haven't seen it, but I feel like one of these is going to explain how the actual ring is like a trampoline or some shit up under it. Because you know how nah. people be getting slammed and they bounce up? Like, you got to think about it. If, if you're going to get slammed, you can't like, bounce up, nigga. I don't feel like it's a trampoline, but springs. I do. It, yeah, springs. I do feel like it is some springs. Like a but cushion. One thing shit. I did learn is that, you know, you know uh, how like they'll be fighting in the ring. And then you'll slam one person, and then that nigga will fall through the actual ring. Yeah. And everybody's just like, oh, I found out that the ring is cut out itself the whole night. And the other niggas that's wrestling before that, mm. they, they're they told not to go in that area. So they just stay, they just wrestle all around it. And people don't even notice until that match comes up. Then that person goes into that area. Boom. And the, that main shit happens. Like, nigga, when I heard that, I was like, damn, really? I believe it. Yeah. I think Vince McMahon is a smart man. Yeah. <laughs> Outspoken TV wrestling critic Jim Cornette calls it a mistake that the WWE now admits its matches aren't real. He reasons that fans always knew parts of a wrestling show were fake, but with promoters coming clean to the public since the 80s, ticket buyers no longer get to ponder what is scripted and what is not. Well, that's not exactly true. There's still plenty of reality show intrigue in the ring. I mean, everyone knows know so yeah. Here are five juicy fun facts that the WWE has tried and failed to keep secret. Let's begin. Number five, Terry's Tall Tale. Terry Hulk Hogan Balia owns the most successful brand in wrestling history. He's also an enthusiastic storyteller. As to the accuracy of the stories, up him being let's just say the Hulk's exaggerations make President Trump seem like a level-headed librarian. Back when the Ultimate Warrior enjoyed mega popularity, his comic book character represented an infusion of genuine geek culture in wrestling. But Warrior took criticism for blowing up or running out of steam during matches. When Hulk and Warrior clashed at WrestleMania 6, Bolia claims an exhausted right, Warrior is to... Alright, uh... I've been watching a lot of wrestling videos. I'm not even trying to talk shit right now, but this guy is pretty boring. Like, when he is saying this, this is pretty boring. Um, but I, with this Hulk shit, it's crazy. This nigga Hulk used to really be, like, a dickhead of all them niggas. Like, I used to look at Hulk like, yeah, Hulkamania, man. Like, he's a he's the the Captain America of the WWE. Yeah. But then when I, I found out doing research and shit, this nigga was basically a big racist. Like, he he didn't... I don't know how to explain it, but he didn't let matches go the way they were supposed to go. Like, he was supposed to lose the match or something, but he just wouldn't go through with it and just really keep, like, fighting. Yeah, battling with the dude until he actually won the shit. Like, it was just so much shit I was researching. But, yeah, they saying Hulk, Hulk was a racist. To and he lies about shit. End the bout after a few minutes. You can see the pair chatting out of character during the match, but there's no way of knowing exactly what was being said. Regardless, it's good that the match didn't stop. It turned into an all-time classic. Number four, well, see, even the about Dead that Man and the Daredevil. The inside story of Mick Foley's <laughs> 1998 cage match with Mark the Undertaker Calhoun is one of the greatest legends in modern wrestling. 
Foley, performing as Mankind, has taken ridicule for his physique and lack of scientific skill. When meeting The Undertaker in Pittsburgh, he was determined to make right, an impression. You know I'm gonna keep it Calhoun G-real with y'all. To stop the match. Yo, this nigga's video boring as hell. I swear I'm about to just, on camera, we're about to just find a, another video to watch. Because you know what? This shit was born oh, as hell. We doing this <laughs> yeah, shit. like what fuck other it. fucking YouTubers is doing this shit. Yeah, for real. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, let who took blading too far. Actually, no, nah, that's that's kind of no, too go, crazy. Go, go, right there. Five mistakes right there. Find my camera. What that's it? Right there. Don't forget about oh, okay. Before this video starts guys, I just wanted to announce that I have created a new channel all about UFC and MMA related. If you guys are into that type sorry, of stuff or just want to support me in general, now. please go ahead and subscribe and it would wish they could redo just because of how it looks ridiculous from their part. Now sometimes Yo, it's the WWE's fault itself, while other I see I'm not trying to disrespect any of these people, but I'm not even trying to hear these niggas talk right now. Like or if they're gonna talk, be short with this shit. Fuck that. These niggas' voices, like, yeah. fucking... Yeah, it's really the voices. school audio tapes we used to listen to. For real. Put niggas to sleep. Let me see. Watch WWE. Man, this shit hard to find a video. Hold on, I got something in my damn... My front page, I hope. Um... Man, why why I can't find those WWE videos right now that I'm looking for? Them? Fuck it, we about to see this nigga Ming. I heard this nigga Ming was the toughest damn damn uh wrestling person of all time, like in real life. But we we about to check him out. 1998. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey guys. <laughs> That's me. This big motherfucker. First of all, oh, oh, shit. Oh. Oh. He reminds me of a great comedian. <laughs> People were saying, like, he's the toughest, like, oh. real person. In, like, like, he was really whooping ass in real life. I mean, he got a grip on this nigga's neck. I was about to <laughs> say, he had a grip on two niggas' necks. <laughs> Bah, nigga. Oh. What, nigga, what, nigga, what? It's combo. <laughs> Boy, I grab your neck too, nigga. Is that move chunking the shit out of you? <laughs> That's that pressure oh. point, nigga. You see his arms? He said, he's fucking nigga. Oh, look. He, he hit everybody with the shit. Why is he standing watching? <laughs> he gonna tap him? He's like, hey, man. He about to get it too. <laughs> this nigga is just choking everybody. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> Oh, shit. These niggas are not Wild, he had the neck. Kick the nigga. He's the security. Oh, he gonna beat you. <laughs> he knew good and damn well getting in the ring was like, Look at his legs. Look at his legs. Look at his legs. Leg. Leg. He was probably like, man, chill, my legs. Chill, chill, chill. Give up, nigga. Give up. Like, I hurt. This is hurt. Like, damn, nigga. This shit ain't for real, nigga. You just playing around, nigga. <laughs> that nigga still, he can't even get off. <laughs> He probably like my back. <laughs> ah, my back. <laughs> For real. My leg. <laughs> but um, I tried to find something better that is exposing WWE. We might check something else out. But this video already long enough. Um, shout out to motherfucking Ming because he just choked all the niggas out. <laughs> nigga, boy, nigga. <laughs> if y'all know the backstory on Ming, I was trying to look it up, but I couldn't find it. They y'all was really saying he is one of the, like he did fighting before WWE. So I do want to hear about that. But keep in mind, a lot of these, you'll say that they are fake fighting and all that. But a lot of these people have backgrounds in martial arts. A lot yeah. of wrestlers do. Yeah. yeah. So I definitely want to hear more about it. But yeah, uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. We out. Get along with your daddy for the pussy. Sound like we making marriage with the pussy. Hop out, jazz hands with the pussy. Skinny dance, sweatpants, dance in the pussy. I'ma smile for the pussy. Five minute man, not a while in that pussy. I go wild in that pussy. Five minute man, then I'm out in the pussy. I'm trying to grow sprout in that pussy. Somersault dive in the crowd for that pussy.
Start smoking loud for that pussy. Got me in here smoking black and miles for that pussy.